think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down I, I, I am on a drug, it's called Charlie Sheen <laughs> right, you did a good job of the jingle there. Yeah, not bad, is it? So, um, basically, let's introduce ourselves. Who are you? I'm you. Well, you're not. No, I'm, you, I'm so Sean. I'm Sean. He's Sean, and I'm Simon. Hello. Hence the Sean and Simon show. Well, you could have been Sean, I could have been Simon. Could have been, but really that's why we introduced ourselves in order. Oh, sure. Okay, right. All right. So, we've, been, we've recently been accepted for Newcastle Student Radio. Yeah, which is great news. Um, we'll be on um, Newcastle Student Radio on the 9th of February, is it? 9th of February. 9th of February, yeah. Um, what they, are those times there, Simon? Uh, they are 10 past 12 to half past 1. Good. I'm, glad you, knew, I'm, gl- I'm yeah. glad you knew the answer to that because I didn't. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get in there asking the question before you did to me. So it would have seemed professional if you hadn't made that little comment. Yeah, but that's what, that's what makes us so refreshing. What, the honesty? Yeah. The honesty person. and the lack of professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, on the subject of uh, honesty and lack of professionalism, this is a shameless plug. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically intended to... Uh, yeah, but it's a plug for for the same thing. It's not like we plug in two different products. No, We're but, still plugging the Sean and Simon show yeah. just for a, for a different audience, I guess. But we're being honest and saying that it's a plug. Yeah, yeah. And okay, essentially, yeah. what these pro- uh, podcasts hope to achieve is that you get to know us a bit better before the show. Yeah, it's like, it's like the student radio uncut. I, I guess so. The student radio XXX. <laughs> That went down like a lead balloon. <laughs> I didn't know how to react. I thought maybe that's a bit far. No, I'd be fine. It's Good fine. grief, man! Right. right. Okay. So, um... whoa. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was a bit far. Didn't it? it was right. Um, so, what have you been up to? Obviously, it is. Uh, it's the new year now. It's in. We're in January now. Yeah. Which is good stuff. I mean, it's gone fast. We're on the eighteenth already. I know. So. Yeah. I've been doing a lot, really, revising yeah. mainly. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember much of New Year? Um, yeah, I think I can do a pretty good job of uh, oh, I don't. forming memories. I don't. Well, yeah, that explains a lot. You were pretty. I was on. pretty gazeboed <laughs> in the ways of Michael McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we both got feet, didn't we? We go. You've got to explain that. You can't just say we both got feet. <laughs> that that's. Oh no, that's terrible. We we were at Propaganda at the O2 Academy, and um, it was sci-fi themed for some reason. I don't know what that has to do with New Year, but there we go. And to tie in with that sci-fi theme, they had an alien autopsy on stage. Yeah, but with human feet. It was an alien with human feet. An alien? Well, yeah. They are human feet. They're modelled on human feet. I'm sure most of it was modelled on human feet. Except for the giant head. Yeah. Go on, explain the feet. Do you remember the feet? No, but you're going to have to explain this, <laughs> because I don't. I know it's a funny story, and it's a nice little anecdote, but I don't remember it, unfortunately. Well, I woke up the next morning with a severed leg in my room, <laughs> and I thought, what happened last night? Well, we, we were at the front of the stage. You must remember that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I, rem- I remember that. Yeah, uh, I'm not completely, you know, void of the, of the, the events. I just yeah. I struggle to place, you know, exactly what happened. Someone's a bit of a big man, aren't they? They got a bit too drunk. Too drunk to remember. I'm a big man, alright? You are a big man. In yeah. more ways than one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you with the jokes, man. You make someone like to do that. Oh, right, okay. um, so, 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 as I was saying. Oh, was... you see, I thought you were talking about my penis. No! Right. No! Come on, we're, we're trying How to bad remain... is that? I instantly thought you were talking about... Okay, right. Okay. We're trying to remain family friendly here. Uh, yeah, well, you're the one making the XXX jokes here, right? Fair point. Yeah? <laughs> Appar- sorry if, if you're apparently on this sexual content bender at the moment. <laughs> bender. Right, anyway, carry on yeah, about the um, feet. I don't even remember where I was. Yeah, they were throwing feet out into the audience. You were you were grabbed. Not not willy nilly left right and centre. There was no, only two feet. Two they feet. weren't just throwing you know a bag of feet out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't have, they didn't come equipped with several <laughs> feet. Yeah, a pair of feet. They threw them both at us. It wasn't just the feet. It was the entire like you know shin area. Well yeah, everything everything every body part was thrown into the audience. We ended up with the feet and the shins because we were, uh, we're, we're, we're at the front. 
No, I'm just trying to explain to, to the audience how graphic right. it was. Yeah, all right. We had you know, this... it wasn't just the feet. It was disgusting. We had the feet and the shins. And what did they look like? They looked like alien feet no, and they shins. Didn't. They didn't. Look... Right, they, they were human feet and shins, they, but they were painted grey. They gray. were painted grey, so it looked like <laughs> with, with blood all over them as well. With, like, with, with blood, blood all over them, yeah. So it looked like... Presumably the alien had been in a scrap. Well, the way I saw it was like, you know, decomposing leg. So it freaked me out. Yeah. And anyway, we got the feet, left and right, because, well, I guess, obviously, you know, if we got two, I had one, you had the other. Yeah. You took it off me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> threw it back onto the stage. I, I, I can only Threw them both back onto both the stage. You robbed stage, me yeah. of my foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I remember this. I remember taking it off you yeah, and, like, you giving me this quizzical look and I was just, <laughs> and I was just there, in, like, going, signalling, because the music was loud, I was signalling, like, it's okay, I've got a plan. As if I'm going to do something <laughs> awesome with them. And then I just threw them on the stage. Anyway, they obviously know that's not the end of the story because yeah. I did wake up with a... Yeah, so they a threw them leg. back at us. They threw them back. And I, I managed to keep hold of the left foot and the shin. We loved them, didn't we? We did. I wouldn't let go of mine after that. I was too paranoid that someone would take it from me. Yeah. And uh, you in uh, some kind of weird drunken paranoia decided to peel the grey paint off of yeah. your foot and you know, because it was too scary it was but do you know what was underneath <laughs> it do you know what was underneath it pink underneath foam. it beautiful pink foam which would have seemed scarier in the morning what weirdly. I imagine if you woke up with a pink foot under your bed. Yeah, it looked out. more human. Yeah, so it would have seemed more scary. Yeah, but less That's alien. The irony. Less alien. Less alien. Less or, or less decomposing flesh. Less and more human like flesh, more yeah, human and fresh. <laughs> I'd rather wake up with a fresh severed leg as opposed to a decomposing severed leg. Yeah, but was it grey because it was decomposing or because aliens are grey? I don't care, that's how I saw it. Well, you were wrong. Right. What did you make of I'm, I'm trying to think of something now. Oh, Sherlock! Sherlock! Fantastic, Fantastic yeah. Fantastic oh. stuff. Yeah, brilliant stuff. Uh, oh, do, I can't, we haven't spoke about it properly yet. So we haven't, is... actually. I just kind of wonder how their work on... How Stephen Moffat and Mark Gatt are the creators of Sherlock, for those mm. of you who don't know the names. Well, they're not the creators. Well, they are. I mean, they, they create the TV show. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. How their work on Sherlock is so good, considering how bad... Bad Doctor Who has been. Doctor Who. Yeah. I, I guess, yeah. So where are we going to go with this? Is that, is that really all you've got to say about it? Well, I kind of... well go on, if you've well, got so much well, to say. Considering you've just watched it, I... considering I just watched, yeah, I thought the finale was great. I thought goodness. Martin Freeman's acting. Martin Freeman. He really I came out of his own there, didn't man. he? He really came out. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's been good in the office and you know confetti and all the stuff he's done. But I mean, that episode really kind of, to me anyway, he really awesome. showed his 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 skill as an actor. It really impressed me. Yeah, me too. I think now Benedict Cumberbatch as well. I don't think we'll give him yeah, that. Him. Yeah, but he he did all right. In he kind of had his colours in the last episode. I guess like, maybe not you know, in the last had his episode. In, in in I guess more in the first episode uh, of the series with Irene Adler. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't make much of her. Well, you're wrong. You're just wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it was the perfect piece of television. The best piece of television I've seen in a long time. Yeah. No, disagree. Although, disagree. everyone was bragging about how amazing the uh, Iron's passcode was, saying, I am Sherlock. Oh, yeah! That, that stood out from a mile off. <laughs> I don't know whether that's just me, but what did you think of that? I thought it was so cheesy. It was cheesy. And didn't you see it as soon as that phone screen came up? No. No. No, I didn't, I didn't anticipate it because I it was did. so bad, I thought. It, well, okay. It, I, well, yeah. To be fair, I did think. I did think. It's one. Is it, Stephen Moffat so bad to do that? <laughs> but then, considering the quality of Doctor Who these days, I thought, yeah, 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 he is. But the thing I don't understand because the last series of Doctor Who was so good. Was it? I thought it was good. Yeah. It was. It was middling. Middling. It won't be the David Tennant one. Yeah, well, Jeez. I think ever will. Look at us. We sound like we live in Forbidden Planet. <laughs> Uh, biggest nerds ever. <laughs> we're not. We're not that bad. Don't. Don't worry. You're not going to be. You know. This isn't like. You know. Sherlock and Doctor Who 101. Or no, anything. of course not. But then in the last uh, thing, we kind of talked about. Uh, it seemed to me that we talked about the office a lot. Did, so. did, we didn't talk about the office at all. Did it we? felt to me that we did. We, we didn't. I don't think we mentioned the office once. We made a couple of David Brent references. Oh, okay. We made. We made two David Brent references. I think. Yeah. Two. Not that I've like listened to over and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So 
Right. This kind of brings us on to our, our next feature, and this is called Make Simon Laugh. All right. You know, in, in with the Ricky Gervais thing. That I got. I originally good, got good link. Got got the yeah. was good. That wasn't it. It I, was I'm proud nice, of that. nice and smooth. I yes. Liked it. Yes, <laughs> I'm proud of myself for well that. Well done. Yeah, you patted me on the back for anyone you know who who didn't hear the pat. You deserved it. You deserved did, yeah. it. Pat on the back, right? So I got the idea from from yeah the Ricky Gervais show uh, back in the early days of XFM, like way early days. I'm talking like you know before Carl Pilkington. Oh, whoa. Um, whoa. Yeah, it was before Carl, um, and it was it was it was make Ricky Gervais laugh, and th- this is actually from that as well. But I just thought because Simon hasn't heard it, so I thought. Will steal the feature, and I'm going to steal the actual content of the feature as so, well. So credit to Steve Merch. Credit to there. credit to the Smirch, yeah. yeah credit to the Smirch. Um, but Who, this, by the way, is amazing live. So if that's amazing live, again, yeah, see him. yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with the DVD afterwards. Kind of keep it, for, keep it in your mind forever, and don't get the DVD because it wasn't as funny as the DVD, was it? I don't think so. We, every, Are you, we I picked, don't think. So. Were you disagreeing? No, no, I'm agreeing with you. Right, I don't okay. Think it was good. I, it's we, just the way you said it. Well, the way you I'm said sorry, it was ambiguous. Sorry for the lack of clarity. There, but when we were there. watching it, we were picking it apart. Weren't we? we were, yeah. We were like, oh, he did that better in in Newcastle. Yeah. So anyway, right. That was yeah, that was my laptop coming on right. So this is this is the uh, the feature. I haven't make, seen this. Make Simon laugh. The first time he's he's ever he's ever heard this. And I think this this was this is a news report taken from the Mirror newspaper. All <laughs> right. Um, many years ago. How many? <coughs> many? Uh, well, I mean, we're talking early days of XFM, so I'm I'm thinking about maybe twelve years, ten years. Okay, so this is actually something they used on the. They used on yeah yeah this yeah. The oh content, right, I yeah. thought you I thought you were riffing. No off, no 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 uh, no no this but. But this got such a good reaction from Ricky, and and I, I oh, it's incredible, right? Let me up. let me just read it, okay? Right. A boy of fourteen told the court yesterday that every boy's fantasy came true for him when his friend's mother took his virginity. <laughs> he said, Gran Lana Allen, forty-eight, led him upstairs and undressed to her waist, <laughs> then took his trousers off. <laughs> then we had sex. It was every boy's <laughs> fantasy, he said. <laughs> this is this is the best bit though. He kept his pants on for the <laughs> ten minute session. But he knew what to do. <laughs> now now if, if that isn't enough, if that isn't enough. I just right? love how casually he said then we have sex. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> If that isn't enough, though, if that is enough, right? Do you want to see the picture? Yeah. Right? This is every boy's fantasy. (laughs) 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 Obviously. (laughs) You guys can't see this, but you'll you'll be able to. We'll put it on on the YouTube channel. (laughs) <laughs> Every boy's fantasy. I love how she's got the fag on as well. She's yeah. got a cigarette on. Classy. What do you think? I love how she's or wearing a fleece. The lead singer in Motorhead. <laughs> that, that, that is Lemmy, but the, the, okay. the drummer from Iron Maiden or something. Again, that, you think? That, mean, that means nothing to me. Well, <laughs> that's what she looks like. She, she does look slightly She looks like a 1980s hair metal rocker she she definitely wasn't my fantasy um when i was that age (laughs) my phone's just gone up there and 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 now now we're even because my phone not only just went off but made the exact same noise as he as his just did yeah in in the demo so and if anything the demo right that was that was all right because it was that was kind of you know yeah that was rough and raw rough and rough and raw yeah simon and sean Raw. That's not the joke. Um, That's what we decided after the. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, so apologies, apologies. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you laugh that hard. <laughs> I've laughed that hard for a long time. Every boy's fan to me. <laughs> um, anyway, I've I've got a bit of a rant about hedgehogs that I just thought I'd share with everybody because it it's some random. It's okay. well, it is random, and there was no link there, but. It's it's something that I need to broadcast, okay? <laughs> All right, go um, on. It's Easy hedgehogs, vehicle, okay? And hedgehogs, yeah. You know how on the look, listen, live adverts, they're, yeah. they're hedgehogs. Yeah, good, and good morality, going, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like a friendly face for kids yeah, and all that. Yeah, you know, teach I, kids. I wonder why they didn't pick a, pick a little puppy or something. Why a hedgehog? Yeah, but what's the problem with a hedgehog? 
Well, I'm just going to say now, if there's one animal that I'm not going to take road safety advice from, it's a hedgehog, <laughs> right? Why? But surely they're more vulnerable to uh, attacks. It means more yes, to the hedgehog than that's it does the, to the puppy. Are you, what? No! I'm not going to take road safety advice from a hedgehog. No, the if Look, that... Listen, Live ends up you, you, you being roadkill... That's then... not the point, though. The hedgehogs are speaking from experience. They, uh, the All right, hedgehog in All the right adverts chill out. This has, isn't Simon no, Says. The hedgehog in the adverts has lost his mother from the, from cars, from, yeah. from poor road safety. So he's 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 imparting his advice. I, get, I don't saying, care, I don't care. No, he's imparting his advice. He's saying, don't walk into the road because you will cause people like myself serious yeah, misery. Yeah, okay, no, that's, fair that's enough, fair point. enough. I just, I just don't understand. I, I, it's more personal. I would never take road safety advice. I wouldn't take... I'm trying to think of, a, of an analogy, but I can't think of one. Well, that's because... Yeah, you're not riffing very well. Well, I wouldn't take a... But shut up. <laughs> I wouldn't take... I wouldn't take advice on, you know... Oh, God, no, that's bad. I couldn't I can't say <laughs> oh, that. Oh, I don't. Um, I can't take advice from how not to get old from an old person. That's irrelevant. Yeah? Because no. That you can't, you no. can't oh, take advice Oh, you know from... what I mean, though. I don't... I don't you know, know what, what you I mean. mean. I don't explain yourself. Oh, what are you on about? Right. What are you on about? I'm... Oh, just go on to Simon Says before we fall out, which we're probably going to fall out through Simon Says. Right. Okay? Um... Right. Simon Says. This week, Simon Says... All publicity is good publicity, which is appropriate for uh, this podcast, I think. Okay. So go on. All right. Have no, no. I've, I've, I've heard this before. I've heard this before, and it's a very popular, popular little phrase, little mantra, right? Little mantra, yeah. But I think we can we can all firmly agree that it's it's BS. Right? Can we? Can we really agree on that? Because that's, that's a big statement on itself. Well, I'm pretty we sure... <coughs> well, yeah, okay, I'm speaking for everyone here, but... You are. Well, uh, well I'm, I'm assuming that everyone isn't stupid. What do you mean you're, stu- you're assuming everyone isn't stupid? Well, I'm... Explain pre- yourself. For example, I'm pretty sure Ian Huntley isn't going to think this is, <laughs> this is correct. <laughs> Yeah, but was that was that publicity? Of course, it was that, publicity. Was that retribution for crimes that he committed? I don't it's know like, if it was. I it's don't know like, if we no. can class that as proper publicity. Are you, are you being serious? Well, Ian Huntley all wasn't publicity. Pu- publicizing oh, himself, was let's he? Let's go out and be a serial killer because all publicity is is good publicity. On, in the serial killer community, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say that. That's I'm that's sure. Not okay, true. I'm sure he would be well respected and. You know, but even still, for the rest of the world, it's bad publicity and everyone hates him, no. right? How, okay, okay, no, 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 no. Is no, it? No. Is it publicity? And even if it is publicity, it's bad publicity is condemning a criminal, right? And in that sense, it's good bringing together the community. Okay, in, in, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. No, I see that. I see bad that. publicity has its good sides. Uh, well, okay, yeah. Not not in the case of the Jews. Go the on, Jews got go a pretty on. bad rep. Yeah, but not so bad now, are they? No, no, no. Well, yeah, you know, it's the Jews are still ostracised all over the world. Better than it was, though. And it's getting better. Well, better than it was in 1945. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's comparable. It's, it's yeah, all, all right, all right. Compar- but then it's, again, is that, is that publicity? Because it's... Actually, it's publicity. It, of course it's a form of publicity. But, but then, oh, all right, yeah, fair enough. But I'm, I'm not... I'm I've, got there, I've got you there, though, haven't I? I've got you there. No, because it links back to the Ian Huntley thing. It's bad publicity, but it opens up people's eyes to intolerance and injustice. But and in, the, in, in the case of, of, the, people, of the Jews, it... it it led to genocide. It did, and that's that's a which, terrible thing. I'm which I don't to... think it can be it can be counted with sympathy sympathy for the Jews. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that that nothing everything... will ever get rid of that, I'll and never... that was bad publicity. I'll never everything bad comes something good, and people are learning today from the. Are they though? The are they though? Uh, plight. I think they are. People, well, no, because genocide's the... still going on. Yeah, well, and racism's yeah. still going on. So. Kind of got you there, Simon. Kind of got you there. Kind of got you there. Got you there. Got you there. Getting better. How's it getting better? History lessons discussing the Holocaust have opened people's eyes, and gradually people are becoming more more tolerant. In the West, in the West. In the West, yeah. Yeah. Sooner or later, it will happen elsewhere. Oh, so you're you're also a an imperialist as well. Imperialist. You you believe that we should? No. That's not what I'm saying. (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying gradually people will learn from their mistakes. 
No, no. I, but, I still no good publicity. I understand in like small small cases, and in in some cases, it it can have its good side. So yeah. as you as you mentioned, you know, um, Ian Huntley, for example, good pu- you know bad publicity was good publicity for society because it it, it highlighted issues around paedophilia and uh, you know kidnapping and, and how to look after your kids, uh, but. When you take something as as big as as the Holocaust, you yeah, can't you can't. There's nothing that 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 was categorically Hitler put out a bad press for Jews. Yeah, I mean, no way am I endorsing that. Well, I never said you were. <laughs> that was the don't you don't don't you don't need to defend yourself here. I'm not <laughs> saying you're a, a Holocaust denier or anything or any of this rubbish, right? What I'm saying is, your there was no good that came out of that, or, or very little good. Relative to the Holocaust. Take your point. Yeah. Take your point. Yeah. So do I win this week? I'm, yeah. All right. I'll I win. Tr- Although I won on the demo, I like to think. What? I beat it's, you by saying no, you I, I had no, my vitamins. Yeah, but that's an apple a day. You were yeah, talking about. Yeah, but the fact is, on a metaphorical. Hang on. What was what was the what was the mantra of this? The demo didn't count. So this right, is the first official. Metaphorical... First official. First official. This is the first official one. So I disagree. I think it's one all. What? One-all. The demo didn't count. We we count. said that. You made the demo a, does you not count. You made a big point of publicising the demo. Yeah. Therefore, it counts. Yeah. No, it's all or nothing. No, 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 all no, 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 no. This counts. is episode one, mate. Episode, this is episode one. Episode one, but yeah. Right, I'm going to delete the demo. No, you're not. I'm going to delete no, the not. demo. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> There's no way you're going to do that. I know for a fact. I'm going to delete the demo, so it's one nil to me. In a week's time, the public will see the demo will still be out there. Just saying. Okay. Just saying. I suppose I couldn't delete anything with my voice on it. Well, break precisely. My heart. Your egoism yeah. would deny that. And um, on that note, we've 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 take this has been a long one. Yeah, we've we'll kind of overrun ourselves a bit. Um, we've also had a few technical issues as well. So yeah, apologies for that. Well, they will know. Hopefully, we're gonna you know sort the situation out so they have no idea that yeah. that's happened. But, anyway, but that's, something that's, ca- that's, something catastrophic has happened. That's but irrelevant. Isn't we, it? They don't need to We're know never that. gonna tell you about it either. <laughs> in fact, we'll probably tell you next time. We might we might even tell you in person if we know. Uh, yeah. Bore you with that. And on that note, um, I'd just like to say, uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't listened to the demo, please listen. Please listen to future podcasts. Follow us on Twitter, on Tumblr if you've got that. Facebook's priority though. Facebook is the priority. We need to get ourselves out there. Um, please tell your tell your friends, tell your family, all, tell everyone you meet. All the all the links you need will be on the Facebook. So yeah. the fact you need to put the, we need to put the, the Twitter one. Up. Yeah. Uh, or have you done it already? I haven't done that, but I'll, I'll put it. I'll put the Tumblr in the email address. So just drop us an email, or whatever. What we're hoping to do is make some more features that, um, you know. It are interactive with with the listeners and the audience as yeah. well, um, um, but we just we just thought we'd do this one, see what what uh, what response we get to to us and whatnot. So please, if you don't listen to any more of the podcasts, listen to us on the ninth of February. And there's uh, more effort to listen to us on the radio. I'm sure they'd listen to us on the podcast as opposed true. to the radio. Good point, good point. <laughs> <laughs> and on that uh, note, on that sarcastic note, um, I suppose we should say goodbye. Yeah. So it's goodbye from uh, Sean. And go back from Simon. Well, that was stupid. Why? That makes that makes anyone who's forgotten our names think that I'm Simon and you're Sean. I was trying to do a two Ronnies thing. Yeah, but, but that didn't work. The two Ronnies were more famous than us, mate. Well, yeah, but we can't be, We're starting a new thing. We we're riding on that coattails. We can't. We can't afford to do this kind of stuff when we when we're yeah, nobodies. Right. Anyway, quite frankly. Anyway, see you later. Right, I'm Sean. Just so you know. Alright, I'm Simon. <laughs> Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. Time to stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody, look what's going down. I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Bye.